Do you let the voice of the Holy Spirit guide you in your thoughts, words, and actions? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. In the 4th century, there lived a Christian monk whose name was Telemachus. He lived in a remote village, tending his garden and spending much of his time in prayer. One day, he heard the voice of the Lord telling him to go to Rome, so he obeyed, setting out on foot. Weeks later, he arrived in the city at the time of a great festival. The little monk followed the crowd into the Colosseum. He saw the gladiator stand before the emperor and say, We who are about to die salute you. Then he realized these men were going to fight to the death for the entertainment of the crowd. He cried out, In the name of Christ, stop! As the games began, he pushed his way through the crowd, climbed the wall, and dropped to the floor of the arena. When the crowd saw this tiny figure rushing to the gladiators and saying, In the name of Christ, stop! They thought it was part of the show and began laughing. When they realized it wasn't, the laughter turned to anger. As he was pleading with the gladiators to stop, one of them plunged a sword into his body. He fell to the sand. As he was dying, his last words were, In the name of Christ, stop! Then a strange thing happened. The gladiator stood, looking at the tiny figure lying there. A hush fell over the Colosseum. Way up in the upper rows, a man stood and made his way to the exit. Others began to follow. In dead silence, everyone left the Colosseum. The year was 391 AD, and that was the last battle between gladiators in the Roman Colosseum. Never again in that great stadium did men kill each other for the entertainment of the crowd all because of one tiny voice that could hardly be heard. In today's gospel, Jesus continues to prepare his disciples for a future filled with challenges as they preach his love and salvation for the world. As they profess their faith for the conversion of many, persecution and suffering will hound them all their lives. He speaks to them amid a cacophony of deafening voices filled with lies, deceit, and hypocrisy. Perhaps that is the reason too why it is difficult today for us to stand up for our faith and profess it boldly and openly. There are too many voices that try to waylay us, coaxing us to follow a path different from the holy path laid out for us by the Lord. Our life is filled with too many voices trying to confuse us, seductive voices that lure us to sensual pleasures, murmurs that deceive us of injustices against us so that our angry emotions may be roused, whispers that make us lazy and purposeless in life, Flattering voices that make our heads swell and make us arrogant. Greedy voices that tempt us to acquire, even if such entail engaging in corruption. A multitude of confusing voices will try to break up relationships, gratify our passions, and tell us how to live our life far away from the will of God. Jesus' words in today's Gospel, for the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say, tells us the way to fight these voices that confuse us. Let us call upon the Holy Spirit to guide us and we shall hear a word behind us telling us, as in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21, This is the way. Walk in it when you would turn to the right or the left. It is the same voice that guided St. Peter, St. Paul, and all the other disciples of Jesus Christ through the centuries to build our universal church, the Catholic Church. Our family has spanned the centuries and the globe. With God's grace, we started hospitals to care for the sick. We established orphanages and helped the poor. We are the largest charitable organization on the planet, bringing comfort to those in need. We educate more children than any other institution. We developed the scientific method and founded the college system. We defend the dignity of human life and uphold marriage. Guided by the Holy Spirit, we compiled the Bible. We are transformed by sacred scripture and sacred tradition which have guided us for 2,000 years. We are the Catholic Church, with over one billion in our family, sharing in the sacraments and fullness of the Christian faith. Jesus started our church when he said to Peter, the first pope, you are rock, and upon this rock I will build my church. So if you've been away from the Catholic Church, we invite you to take another look. Visit catholicscomehome.org today. We are Catholic. Welcome home. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, help me to discern through the many voices that speak to me about how to live my life. 
Let your Holy Spirit drown all of them out and just speak to me about the truth and direct me to the holy path that you have laid out for me. All these, Father, I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.